your guides say you're ready, then you're ready. So this is exactly what I'm saying. Do you trust it? Are you willing? See, we never feel ready. We never feel ready. We never feel ready to fully leap. We never feel ready to invest in ourselves. We never feel ready to take. We just don't. It's a question of, are you willing? So remember, I go back to the choice. Are you willing to follow it? Following the path of your soul's money is to follow it 100%. It's not a wiggle wobble thing. You can't say, well, okay, I'll see. I'll go for it. I'll see what happens when I do it. So the question is, how can you attract the wealth you know you deserve? Maybe you even know this on a soul level, intuitively, and you want to create a massive impact in the world. How do you do this and serve your clients to the highest level? How do you break through and overcome your current situation and start manifesting the wealth that you know you deserve? Hello, my name is Karina Stewart. I'm a soul wealth coach, seven figure entrepreneur, running my spiritually conscious business. And I have dedicated my life to activating wealth and purpose for spiritually conscious entrepreneurs. And on the Activate Your Wealth show, I'll be your guide to show you exactly how to activate your wealth, step into your purpose in a powerful way, and make a profound difference in the world while doing it. Thanks for joining me. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Karina Stewart, I'm a soul wealth coach. I support spiritually conscious entrepreneurs to scale their businesses so you can make a profound difference in the world and ultimately have it all, be able to check off all the things in your life that you want to create abundance around and that your business serves your life. It serves your purpose. It serves your relationships. It serves the money you want to have. And that's the stand that I take for you. What I want to talk about today is, is it really possible to create abundance from your soul? You know, I think when we hear something like your soul is so abundant and you can create anything that you want with your soul, sometimes our mind can be our worst enemy in sabotaging that thinking and having it seem like that's just pie in the sky thinking. So I want to break this down for you today because can you create abundance from your soul? Absolutely. And not only that, it is the most powerful way to create money and abundance, you know, There was a time that we could say, you know, creating money in abundance and manifesting the quality of life that you want came from the head. It came from good ideas and really pushing and striving to make it happen. And does that work? Absolutely. It is a way to manifest. Now, what is the result of that? Quite often it's stress, overwhelm, health problems, and relationship problems. It can cause a lot of side effects. Let's just call it that. But abundance created from your soul doesn't carry those kind of side effects. And the reason for that is because you become aligned. And when you become aligned with your soul, the abundance, the money, the life that you create from that soul alignment becomes something that actually enhances your life. It expands you. It expands expands your power. It expands your light. And so when you're coming from a place of soul, abundance, money creation from your soul absolutely serves your life. So that's what we're going to get into today and how that works. So one of the ways in which first to realize is it's a choice. It's a choice. Do you want to create your money from your soul, which exists within that heart pulse of yours? It exists within the heart consciousness of yours with the heart mouth research institute calls the heart mind. That's where the soul lives. That is where the soul information exists. Well, creating from there requires you to transform yourself in ways that maybe are going to feel uncomfortable, that are going to stretch you. Now, from the place of the mind, it can be more familiar. And so it's a choice, a decision point, really, about how you want to create your money. How do you want to grow your business? How do you want to scale it? That's the first step, if you will, is to choose which way you are committed to. For a long time, I rode both arenas, we'll call that. I rode both ways. And the result of that was actually a lot of misalignment, a lot of tension, 
a lot of sleepless nights of worrying about whether or not a tactic or a strategy in my business was going to work, worrying about whether or not I'd have enough money to cover you know, my team expenses and the business expenses. When you were aligned with the soul and you choose that 100%, because my point here is that you can't do both. <laughs> there was a time that maybe that could exist, but now the intensity of the polarity of tr attempting to do what your mind tells you to do versus what your heart tells you to do creates such a ripcord within your being that you quickly spin out. You quickly create side effects that just are going to put walls, stop signs around you and what you're doing. So once you make the decision, and I'm assuming you, you want to follow the path of your soul, you want to follow what lights you up within you, that heart pulse, that love within you. And by doing that, you'd absolutely love to create money in abundance from that. So yeah, like creating money from your soul then begins the journey of this, activating the spiritual technology within you. So now it's about activating this spiritual light technology within you because without doing that, then you're back in the headspace. So one of the things that, you know, there's virtues. I teach different virtues that require you to trust, surrender. So those are two virtues, trust and surrender to the soul's way. Those are the first steps. And that begins to activate within you. It's like it's turning on this inner expansion of light. It doesn't mean that the light wasn't turned on before, but it's a willingness to expand it even bigger and brighter. Often people don't because they're afraid of what their light will ask them to do what their soul will ask them to do. I sometimes play with this because it will help you. Because I speak to a lot of light workers, a lot of people who prescribe to a sense that it's all rainbows and light. <laughs> we'll just put it that way, rainbows and butterflies. And that it's going to be easy in some way. Or that you can keep being who you are or existing in the life design that you have and follow your soul's path doesn't work that way. Your soul is going to ask you to do things that you don't want to do, that you're scared to do, that you feel like you don't have time to do it, or it's not the right time. And this is the thing that I see over and over and over again that sabotages many amazing human beings, just like you guys, from having what it is you can have. So I'll give you an example. If you're going to burn through the residue that's the miasma. It's known as the miasma DNA, which carries the karma. It carries the density. It burns it away. That's transmutation, right? Burns it off. But in order to do that, we are called by our soul to take actions that require a level of trust and surrender that perhaps you don't know up until the moment you choose it. So it's imagining jumping out of an airplane and that you'll be fine. Jumping, right? Jumping off a cliff and knowing you'll be fine. You'll be caught, right? But you look and it's really scary. You're like, but I've never jumped this high. I don't know what it feels like. Will I really be okay? Right? So, so imagine that right now because each and every one of you is standing on that edge. Every day we're standing on an edge. We're standing on an edge that we get to leap into. And it's a question of and a matter of are you willing to leap it? Are you willing to take that risk? And so my question for you is this, because often what I'll share is if your soul told you to move halfway across the world right now, for example, and to do it in the next 30 days, what might come up for you? Would you do it? Because remember, the soul doesn't give it to you in a letter. You know, maybe sometimes it's going to be a little nudge. It's going to be pointing, right? It's going to be pointing to it. It'll be everywhere. Like, Let's say you, you were told, I know some of my audience is in Australia, but many of you are not. So I could say, you know, if you were told to move to Australia, which for, you know, those of you in North America, that is halfway around the world. And it was like, you get to go, you get to go. And then everything's going to open up for you. Would you say yes? Would you say yes? Not knowing anything except you got to go. Right. So that's an example. If your soul said to you, okay, it's time to next month make $20,000 in your business. 
and create this program and sell it and you know enroll 20 people and you know make twenty thousand dollars would you do it right i know a lot of you are a yes to that but my point that i'm making is often we become a no or a no i'm not ready because we're in a wrestling match with our personal will versus the divine will i work with so many entrepreneurs that sell themselves short on how much money you can be making because of being in your head being in your head about it not believing the guidance not believing that it's possible and one of the things i'll tell you guys that is a superpower that i have that i can offer people is my ability to trust my guidance with a hundred percent i trust it a hundred percent and i'm telling you it's it's not <laughs> I don't trust it 100% because it's somehow clearer than probably any of yours. That's also part of your emotional history, carrying that with you. If your guides say you're ready, then you're ready. So this is exactly what I'm saying. Do you trust it? Are you willing? See, we never feel ready. We never feel ready. We never feel ready to fully leap. We never feel ready to invest in ourselves. We never feel ready to take. We just don't. It's a question of, are you willing? So remember, I go back to the choice. Are you willing to follow it? Following the path of your soul's money is to follow it 100%. It's not a wiggle wobble thing. You can't say, well, okay, I'm, I'll see. I'll go for it. I'll see what happens when I do it, right? And you, you will evolve. And I'll tell you, you will amaze yourself. You'll surprise yourself. One of the projects I'm working on that, my soul told me I would do back in 2011. It's now 2021. A lot of years later said you will develop trust funds for humanity and you will create a massive wealth distribution on the planet through it. And I'm like, I know nothing about this. Well, I just kept following my guidance. I will be led. I will learn. And today I can say I'm creating the first fund and it's going to be millions. You know, we're our first fundraise with investors is $12 million. And I've never done that before guys, but I got aligned with amazing people. I got aligned with someone else who's a fund manager and knows how to do this, who's created a fund before. And so it's going to happen, right? So in each step of the way, I'm sharing this with you. I just leaned into my soul's, truth. I just leaned into my soul's truth. I don't know what I'm doing. I remember showing up to the first meeting. Um, we did meetings to check out different businesses here in Puerto Rico as investors, right? And I'm feeling like an imposter. I don't know what I'm doing. And yet I'll tell you, I had the best day of my life. I was like, I'm born to do this. I don't know a lot about it. And I'm new, but I know I'm born to do this after that day. And you know what? Now, I'm getting it. It's about two months in and I'm getting it. I'm understanding it. I can follow the jargon. I'm following it. And I know that I'm going to be amazing at this. So my point is, like, trust your soul. Because your soul knows you better than your perception that comes from the filter in your head. Your head doesn't know what you're doing, but your soul does. Right. And that's the amazing thing. It's allowing yourself to be soul led. So when we talk about that, it's saying, well, my soul runs my company. You know, I'm kind of like the naive, innocent one in the back that doesn't know what I'm doing, but I'm catching on. <laughs> I'm in training. Right? I'm in training to figure it out. And you will. You know, when I started this coaching company, I knew I was a good coach and I'd had clients. I got clients my first year out of coach training. And I, even though I knew I was a coach, I remember my first coaching client and going to those sessions, we met in an Aubon pan in person in Boston, Massachusetts. And I was totally scared. And I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. And yet today I have a million dollar coaching business, right? So when you choose to trust, so we're gonna continue on with this process, right? You make the decision, are you committed 100% to following your soul's path? That's not a light decision, right? Because being committed means you'll, doesn't mean you won't be scared or won't hesitate, but you come back to following the alignment of your soul's path. And as you follow the alignment of your soul's path, 
right? Then what opens up for you are decisions to make where you get to trust and surrender to your soul, to your higher guidance. What comes after that? You're going to activate more light inside of you. That's the spiritual technology I'm talking about that we all have. But it only turns on and activates when we follow our soul, right? Because in following your soul, that is how this awakens in you, right? Then your soul goes, aha, she, he is following her soul. So it starts pumping more light into your physical body. And as the light pumps in, right, you actually transmute the fears. You transmute that old filter. So, I, t- you know, I taught this in a really deep way last week on my Pathways to Your Soul Masterclass. And I still have that at 50% off. So I'm going to drop that link. Here's the last thing I'm going to leave you with, okay? So so we went to choice point, choose. Are you committed to following the path of your soul? Second, are, are you willing to, once you're willing to do it, it is about surrender and trust, okay? Then lastly, lastly, it is activation, okay? So we were talking about the activation, which is allowing, it's activation and integration. We're going to kind of meld them together. The activation is when you have soul expansion and the light expands within you. You clear out old patterns that are limiting and we're stopping you. And that actually changes the way you see things. All of a sudden, I mean, how many of you had this experience? Where all of a sudden one day you wake up and go, well, I'm not afraid anymore about that, right? Like something shifted out. Well, that's your soul clearing it out with expansive light. Then you go through an integration period once you have massive expansion. And we have been in a massive expansion in the last 45 days. It's been really, really high light energy. Then you integrate. And as you integrate, the aspects of yourself, mind, soul, (laughs) they come into alignment. Heart, they come into alignment. They come into alignment again, right? And then you can see the plan. You can go with confidence into the steps. Right. And then you may hit another limit and then the process begins again. It's another choice point. Am I committed to my soul? Am I committed to the guidance? Okay, I get to surrender. I get to trust. Then the light expansion happens, the activation. Then you integrate again. Right. And then you see it and then confidence, right? Confidence rolls out from there. And if you stay committed to this long enough, you guys, first of all, you will have fast acting movement. You will have fast acting movement with your soul embodiment, your soul expansion, and your awakening into your purpose. It will move quickly and then money will be flowing the whole time. It flows the whole time because as you commit to clearing out lack, limitation from your being, then what occurs, then what occurs is you not only ascend and awaken, but you drop into what I've always called the treasure chest of your soul, which is there in your heart. And it like starts pouring out the golden currency of wealth. It starts pouring that out for you. Honestly, it won't scare you and it feels comfortable, but if it's big enough, you're going to have something that shows up that makes you feel uncomfortable and a little afraid, but that's how you know. That's how you know it's aligned to your next level awakening. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the next episode. Hey, thank you again for spending your valuable time with me today. The next best step for you to take after listening to this episode is to get around other like-minded individuals in a close-knit community by joining my five-day challenge, Activate Your Wealth. You'll find it by heading over to my Facebook group. Just go onto Facebook and search for the new code under group. Once you join the group, Say hello and search inside the group for the Activate Your Wealth 5-Day Challenge. I'll see you on the next episode of the Activate Your Wealth show.